Summary Diamond vs Graphite by kscience.com On the left we have diamond and on the right we have graphite. Both substances are made of carbon, 100% carbon, with strong covalent bonds in between the carbon atoms. However, it's very clear to see diamond and graphite have different structures. So because diamond and graphite are both made of carbon, but have different structures, so the carbon atoms are arranged differently. This means diamond and graphite are allotropes of carbon. An allotrope is when you have different substances which are made of the same atoms but are arranged differently. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to summarize the similarities and differences between diamond and graphite. Diamond is made of carbon and graphite is made of carbon. And they're both allotropes of carbon as they are both made of carbon but have different structures. Diamond has strong covalent bonds in between the carbon atoms. And graphite also has strong covalent bonds in between the carbon atoms. Diamond has a giant covalent structure and graphite also has a giant covalent structure. Diamond has a rigid tetrahedral arrangement of carbon atoms, whereas in graphite the atoms form hexagons arranged in a layered structure. In diamond there are four covalent bonds between each carbon atom and in graphite there are three covalent bonds in between each carbon atom. Diamond is very hard due to a rigid 3D network of atoms held in place. Whereas graphite is very soft as the layers can slide due to the weak intermolecular forces between the layers. Diamond has no delocalized electrons so cannot conduct electricity. Whereas graphite has one delocalized electron per carbon atom so can conduct heat and electricity. Diamond is used on cutting tools, whereas graphite is used as a lubricant, conductor, and or in pencils. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.